Hey, morning everyone. Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today what I got for you is I got another subscriber that wanted to know how to put in uh, custom English on their 6160 uh, Ademco keypad. Ademco, Honeywell, Vista, however you want to say it. But he wanted to know how to put in custom words um, up here in the display for his zones. So I'm going to walk you through on how to do that. And uh, let's see, all you need to do this is you got to know what your installer code is for, you know, getting into the program of this. You got to know what the installer code is. And if you don't know what the installer code is, um, search my videos for the safe watch and I got a whole video on how to get your installer code. All right, so now let me flip you around down to my keypad and we'll get going. So what I got here is, um, let me just scoop this around here. What I've got is I've got zone one. Again, I got to get this set up. I got zone one just set up on this simple toggle switch. So I'm going to hit the toggle switch. Fault zone one. And then I'll turn the toggle switch back. All right, we got our green light and the zone's clear. I'll hit it again. Fault zone one. All right, so now I'll clear it. So we got our green light. So how you do this, this is on zone one and I want to reword this switch um, so that it says front door. Okay, let's make this the front door. So again, you got to know what your installer code is to get into the um, system. And my installer code is 6321. So let's get in the program. 6321800. All right, here we go. And we're in the program. So now to get to the um, uh, custom English vocabulary for zone one, you hit star 56 and then you hit zero that you don't want to confirm it zone one is the zone you want to change so say that it was it was zone 54 all you do is just hit 54 all right and go all the way through and do it that way but this is zone one so i'm picking zero one as the zone i want to program so you hit zero one and you hit star don't pay any attention to that that's just a summary screen pay no attention to that keep going keep going until it says uh, i believe it says program alpha program alpha and once you get to this screen say one for yes all right custom words i'm going to make another video on that um, that's a, a, going to be a pretty lengthy video, but you can actually, if you can't find the word that you want to use, so say that you have a, a child and then your, your child's name is Asher or Ashley or something like that. You can actually do a custom word for that particular child. It could be, you know, Bill's room or Asher's room or Ashley's room, so on and so forth. That's what the custom words are for. But we're going to use a standard list of vocabulary for calling this the front door. So again, you get the custom words, say no. All right. This is just a summary screen of the zone that you're attempting to, you know, do the vocabulary on. Just hit the star key just to go to the next screen. Now it's asking you what zone do you want to program? So you hit zero one. All right. Now you get this flashing cursor right here and that's telling you that the panel is awaiting your command for the first word. So what we got to do, let me get over here. I'm going to switch screens on you. This is the list of words that is available to um, put into the alarm panel. So right here we got front door, which is an 085. 085. That's not front door, I'm sorry. It's just front. And then you want door is over here, and that is a, where's my door? Up front, up top here. 
door is 057 so remember this 085 and door is 057 all right so now we got plenty of other um choices over here we got radio rear I mean, you guys at your leisure you can look through here you got the mage you got mother motion motor gas gun i'm pretty sure we got smoke smoke and then you got detector um, we got carbon oxide, or does it just say CO? Um, no, no carbon monoxide because that automatically populates. Okay, so anyways, that's uh, that's all of your um, standard words. And then when you get into custom words, these are all the available characters to make your custom word. All right, you got all kinds of you know special characters, numbers, letters, so on and so forth. But anyways, we are concentrating on front, which is 085, and door, which is 057. So let me bring you back to the camera. All right, so it's awaiting the first word, which is going to be front. And that was, if you remember, 085. So what you do is you just don't hit 085, which I wish they would have put that on the vocabulary list, that it's actually pound pound zero eight five all right so now we got front in there now to save the word in that position you hit six and it flips the cursor down it's waiting for the next word which is door and that was 057 so remember it's not 057 it's actually pound 057 so pound 05 seven all right so now we got it um set as the front door so if you're happy with that wording you hit the number eight all right automatically saves your word and kicks you out to the next um zone number but we're done we're all we wanted to do was just program this front door so what we want to do is hit zero zero to quit and then you want to hit star nine nine to get out of the program all right so now we're out of the program we got a nice green light so now i'm going to hit this switch and watch the display fault front door and i'll close it we'll get a green light and then i'm going to hit it again fault front door Okay, so say that you made a mistake and you didn't want that to say the front door. You go, oh, darn. You went and you tested it and it said it's actually the back door. You can actually go in and change the wording. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's change this to the back door. So again, you have to go in the program. 800. Zero, zero. Now my code is 63221 yours could be whatever I don't know what your code is and again I've got a a video on how to extract the code from your alarm panel you just have to search my uh, I think it's like safe watch I believe is the playlist yeah sip of coffee there all right so we're changing this to the back door because we made a mistake now um, we, we get into the program and then you hit star 56 Set to confirm, say no. Enter the zone number. It's zero 01. That's what we want, so I'm just going to hit it again. And then hit star. And now just scroll through until it says program alpha. Program alpha. Say one for yes. Custom words, no. That's for another day. Um, this is just a summary screen. So you hit star. Now it's asking you what zone. You hit zero 01. All right, so now it's got the flashing cursor there. So now let's go back to our vocabulary list. Uh, let's see, how do I do this uh, right here? And I don't know if we got back. Yeah, we do have back. I think we got back and we have rear. If you wanted to say rear door or back door, I'm going to say back door. All right, so that's 013. And remember, door is 057. So even though you're changing just one word, you're changing front to rear, you actually have to reprogram the entire label for it to take. 
All right. So uh, back to where zero one three. We just got to remember that zero one three. Let me go back to the camera. So here we are. So we want to make it back. So that's again. It's the zero one three. You have to proceed it, and that's the right, right word. Proceed. Um, prior to putting in zero one three, you punch the pound. So pound zero one three. It's back. Remember, hit the six to save and flips the cursor to the next um, position. And door is 057, so we hit pound 057. All right, back door, I'm happy with that. So to save your vocabulary, you hit the number eight. All right, it automatically kicks you out, saves your word and puts you to the next zone, but we're done. So hit zero zero to quit. And then star nine nine to get out of program. All right, so now let's try it. Watch the display. I'll open my door. Fault. Back. Door. And I'll close the door. We got a green light, so open the door. Fault. Back. Door. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That, uh, in a nutshell, is how you program Custom word, not custom words, um, that's a standard vocabulary words into your uh, SafeWatch 3000, SafeWatch Pro 3000, ADT, First Alert, uh, Protection 1, Guardian, whatever. As long as it's a, uh, a Demco, Honeywell, Residio, I think it's the, the new name of these things, is Residio. As long as you've got that type of uh, keypad and you know the installer code, you got to have the installer code. You can put in your own custom words on your, again, it's got to be a custom keypad. It can't be, let me grab another keypad to show you. Uh, where's my other keypad? I'm sorry, guys, hang on one second. Ah, this, this one's brand new in the package. Um, this one here is not a custom keypad. This is just a standard um, 6150 um, standard keypad. You cannot put custom words in this. It's got to be the bigger one. Let's see if we can compare it in size just so you know. Let's go with the back to back. Oop. Let's see. Yeah, you can't really tell, but the small one is here, and this one's, this is the bigger one. You can see that it's bigger. <laughs> I'm going to get my, get myself together here. See how much longer that one is? All right. And uh, also, the custom English cat keypads most of the time has uh, the safe pass on it. I just did a video about that. All right, guys. Question, comments. Uh, ring the bell. Subscribe. Um, make me happy. All right. And if anybody is interested in purchasing this this exact keypad, because I've only got this one left, and I also have a 6150 keypad. I also have um, SafeWatch 3000, whatever you want to call them. Vista 20. Um, so on and so forth. I've got I got the main control boards if you want if you need those. Just uh, drop me a link down below and I'll see if I can hook you up with whatever uh, equipment you need for your Ademco system. Thanks guys.